And actually, there's a story here in the Bikathir. It show you that Muhammad is a mentally ill person. Let me show you this hadith. Let us show it in better font. Muhammad was praying and suddenly he start acting weird, extending his hands to grab something. <laughs> Crazy man. So look at this. The messenger of Allah stood praying and we heard him saying, I seek refuge with Allah from you. Then he said, I curse you. I curse you with the curse of Allah. Muhammad is out of control. This is during the time of the prayer. People, they were surprised. What he's saying? Talking to who? They see nobody. And he said it three times. Hey, Trinity religion. The Trinity of Islam. Why he is cursing him three times? Ah, the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Why one will not work? Three times. And then he stretched out his hands as if it take to, uh, to, to take something. When he finished the prayer, all of this Muhammad did not notice what he's doing. Muhammad, obviously, he is a satanic possessed. The guy is a prophet of Allah, praying to Allah. Suddenly he starts saying things. He's trying to capture somebody, trying to hold somebody and say, hey, I curse you. I curse you by Allah. I curse. What happened? I thought if you recite Quran, shaitan will not come to you. Genie will not come to you. Suddenly shaitan is coming to Muhammad even during the time of the prayer. And the followers of Muhammad, they say to him, we heard you say something. Uh, in your prayer, we never heard you saying before. So is that a new prayer? And we saw you stretch your, out your hands. He said, yeah, yeah. Uh, the enemy of Allah, Shaitan, uh, came to me with the, with the brand of fire. Hmm? He threw fire at him in my face. So I said, I seek refuge with Allah from you three times. Then I wanted to take hold of him and capture him so the children they can you know spit at him and play with him <laughs> true story <laughs> so you know you are taking it out of context you are taking the hadith out of context i did not say anything i just read the story you are taking it out of context I didn't say anything. It's your prophet speaking in his prayer, cursing shaitan and trying to catch him, extending his hands. I did not say anything. It is them who ask him what you were saying, what you were doing. You said something strange. And they told him what he said. He said, oh, I was trying to hold, get hold of him. He came and he had fire. He threw fire at me. You are taking it out of context. And even the Muslim, they agree that Muhammad was under shaitan control. Not only he was, according to Muslims, he was under black magic, as they claim, but Muhammad, he said clearly that he have a shaitan. But this shaitan, he command Muhammad to do good things. Read carefully. There's none among you whom there's not attached to a from form of a jinn, devil. See, Muslim put the word devil, not me. Muslim, don't say I am the one who had the word devil. I did not. They, the companion, they said, O Messenger of Allah, with you too? He said, thereupon he said, yes, 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 yes. But Allah help me against him, so I am safe from him. And he does not command me, but for good. Muhammad admit that shaitan command him. Who is commanding shaitan? Muhammad. What kind of command? Good command. You tell me how the devil give good command. And do Muhammad receive command from Allah or from shaitan? That is a good question. In different hadith, the Muslims, they went farther. And the wives of the Prophet and Muhammad confirm that Muhammad was mentally ill. Muslim, they call him 
uh, black magic scientists they say uh, mentally ill i say properly he was possessed by the devil uh, read with me this is sahih bukhari as uh, she said the prophet was bewitched so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not so how in the world we can trust muhammad receiving quran how in the world we can trust Muhammad seeing angels? How in the world we can trust Muhammad seeing anything? The guy, he is mentally ill in the best scenario. If he is not possessed by the devil. If his own family witness that he is mentally ill or he is under the control of shaitan. Right? Uh, uh, look what Muhammad he said here or Aisha she said that even Muhammad he used to have imaginary sex Aisha she said the prophet continued for such and such a period imagining that he had boom boom with his wife but in fact he did not do you see it so do we need really more proof that this man is either mentally ill or he is under the, the he said shaitan he command him good he said that uh, 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 he saw shaitan throwing a fire he said he want to capture him but he remember he saw Iman, the story of so he let him go and actually in different story he captured him for real and then he let him go in different story i mean this guy is mentally ill crazy he didn't he can't even recite the same story twice and even the quran cannot recite the quran twice so he come with a story saying that allah you know uh, uh he will make better verses. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a, a, a prophet? He say this, whatever verses we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we bring one similar to it or better. Allah will make, Allah will make you forget the Quran to make you similar Quran. How stupid is that? Hey Muhammad, I will give you know, you remember the verse that says you can eat a cheese and you can watch striptease in the heaven of, 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 of the God of the bees. Okay, forget this verse. I will give you something better. You can eat a cheese and watch striptease in the heaven of the bees, of the God of the bees. So why you made me forget the first one if the second one is the same? It says similar. It says in the front of you similar and how Allah will make Quran better than the Quran. What Allah went to school and he study, but the story, no, not like that. The foolish Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same story twice. So what he do, he claimed that Allah, yes, you know, you know, and, and he changed his mind too. So he claimed that Allah will give him something better. You see, it says here, we cause to be forgotten. Do you see it? Muslim, they cannot say, no, he did not forgot. Cause to be forgotten. He forgot the Quran. Uh, that you mute the mic. Well, you have to find, you know, I have thousands of people who call me who don't mute their mic, you know, unless they are a bunch of kids saying stupid things. You see, uh, I have a, I have a limited of patience with people. If you are just a kid, not only I will mute the mic, I will hang up on you because you are just a kid. If I talk about this, you talk about something else. Why not? I called uh, the, the the potato Mimi hijab. In less than three minutes, he hung up on me seven times. And he did not let me ask, ask anything. He was just playing video. Did you say that? <laughs> so don't play the game. Your prophet, he don't mute people when they ask him a question. He killed them. And we have tens of thousands who people have called me and it's it, it's on the internet. As long as they speak with respect, speak like adult, I never mute them. They excuse if you mute them. And not only that, listen, if you are a sheikh and you have a long beard, I promise you I will never hang up on you. And not only that, I promise you the one who hang up first is the coward, he is the loser. Just call me. Keep it away from being personal. Speak about the topic. And I will stay with you until tomorrow. So all of this is garbage. And who can deny that this is garbage? 
And if you go and read the interpretation, even the Muslim, they make it more stupid when they explain it. If you go to the interpretation of chapter number 2, verse 106, we will find this. Read carefully with me, Allah. Why Allah, he gave Muhammad this verse? The people of Quraysh, they said to Muhammad, look at this Muhammad. He got something in the morning. He ordered his, his followers something in the morning, and then he changed his mind afternoon. He changed what? He changed what? He changed his mind in less than 24 hours. Read carefully. When the disbelievers began to deride the matter of abrogation, saying that one day Muhammad enjoined his companion that one thing, and the next day, the same, that this, the next day, he forbid it. Isn't it a clear sign that he had mental illness? How in the world you tell them, this is Allah told me to do this. Second day in the morning, you change it. You see, if you accept this thing to be true, that's mean Allah is a stupid. It's not Muhammad who is a stupid, it's Allah. Because if Allah, when Allah, he made an order and he gave it to Muhammad and he's not sure it's good. So he, later he find out after he said, oh man, I made a mistake. Bring it, bring it, bring me this uh, verse. I, I will give it to Muhammad already. Jibreel, you give it to him? Oh boy. Okay, you know what? We will cause him to forget it so we can give him something similar or better. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using fake hadith? This is Quran, you idiot. <laughs> Guys, I'm, fake, I'm using fake hadith. <laughs> All right. What a bunch of kids. You see, I'm using fake hadith. It's in front of them. This is fake hadith. Muslims, all of them, they are fake. When they speak about their prophet, they are fake. They make, they lie about their prophet. They write books. They're scholars. They are fake. Here we go. The Muslims are saying that. Right? Mm. They agree that Muslims, they lie about their religion. Wonderful. Because if those are fake hadith, they are written by who? By the fake Muslims, right? And the Quran written by fake Muslims, because there's no real Muslims. All of you are fake. And your Quran says that. Where is the hadith about the guy he said? Here we go. Fake hadith. Everything is fake. Their books is fake. The Quran is fake. The Prophet is fake. So they are used to fake. And because they are used to fake, anything is fake. So what we answer you, anything you say to us, it doesn't matter what you say, we say it's fake. Or the Prophet says it's, uh, it's fake. The Quran says it's fake. The Hadith says it's fake. Interpretation, it's fake. So you are following fake Prophet because everything in the books is fake. So you don't have who is the Prophet. You have fake stories, according to you. So what religion you follow? The fake books of, um, of of Islam. Actually, I agree with him. You see, even the Quran is recited to the Muslims by a guy. His name is Hafs. You see, the Muslims they don't have the physical Quran. The Muslims they say the Quran preserved. This is a big fat lie. If you open the first page in the Quran, it says this book is written according to recitation of Hafs, Ibn Asim, etc., 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 etc. From 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 all the way to Muhammad. But Asim is exist more than 200 years after Muhammad. It is a recitation, riwayat, qiraat. So where is the Quran? And then they say to you that Hafs was a liar. I have a video about it, go watch it. And then the Muslim, they say, the guy who said Hafs is a liar, he is not trustworthy. Hmm? <laughs> it's not one guy it is tons of guys and they are big names big scholars they say he is a fraud so even your Quran is coming from a fraud and his father his stepfather Asim is a fraud too